Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are on route to go and test the Kyosho Phaser MK2 FZ02 Rally to see how it compares to Mark Bryan's Tamiya TT02, which he has rally converted. I've got nothing but rain in the forecast. I've got a small break right now, so I'm racing out to my favorite spot so I can get some footage, hopefully. But a quick rundown, I'll put a link to Mark's video right here so you guys know exactly where we're starting. Now Mark was running a 14, no sorry, a 15 turn brushed motor, 540 can. My Kyosho has a 14 turn 550 can. So I've got a little bit of a leg up right there. We are both running 4,200 milliamp 2S LiPos. And other than that, these chassis are very similarly equipped and they're very similar in design. The major difference here being that the FZ02 Phaser has the rally suspension in it, which the TT02 does not have, but Mark has done an amazing job of converting his to rally spec. But for today's video, we're gonna look at top speed. Mark managed to get 40 kilometers an hour or 25 miles per hour with his setup. He was having some issues with his steering servo, didn't want to center. There were a bunch of sticks and and twigs on the ground which may have affected his top speed a little bit but overall i think 25 is a pretty fair starting point 25 mph i think that the kyosho phaser is going to be a little bit faster i think i'm going to be pushing 28 to 30 miles per hour that 14 turn motor that it comes with is quick so we're looking at price point what are you going to pay to get into one of these now the the kyosho phaser mk2 comes ready to run and in Canada here, you can get it for about 350 bucks all in, which I think is an amazing price. Now, there have been a lot of comments down below saying that, hey, the MK2 costs a lot more. Now, maybe in different countries, it does cost more, but in Canada, where I live, $350 ready to run. So I'm gonna use that as my benchmark. Speaking of Mark, Mark Bryan went ahead, did the math on his. Over in the UK for his TT02, which does not come ready to run, it comes as a kit, you have to put it all together, add your own radio, servo electronics, all that jazz. Once he was done with it, he was about 200 UK pounds, which converts to about $350 Canadian. So I think we're really comparing apples to apples here from a price, uh, price point perspective. And then let's talk about top speed. So today, my goal is to get a top speed for you guys and see how quick I can get this thing moving. I might even take it to the skate park if the weather holds out and try and snag a couple epic shots. So stay tuned for the Kyosho Phaser MK2 FZ02 Rally versus Tamiya TT02 Rally Shootout. Excellent! Let's do this. You're going down, Mark. <laughs> All right guys, so first things first, we are gonna do the speed test. I've got my mini GPS right here. It is zeroed out. We have got some of the handyman secret weapon. <laughs> right here, let's see what we got. Bam, bam. It's crude and it's gonna work. Test number one, top speed. Ready one, and just so we all know that I am playing with a the same deck of cards that Mark is, and there's no tomfoolery going on here. Here's a quick review of my chassis, which I have Velcroed, and it's really tough to do all this while it's all Velcroed. As you guys can see there, we have got the 14 turn 550 motor and a 2S LiPo 4200 milliamps. And I took some Velcro and I put it right here on this tray. This is one thing that I really love about this chassis. It did not come with a Velcro, I put that on myself, but talk about amazing way to keep dirt and debris out of your chassis. That's the stuff right there, guys. All right, guys, there it is, zero miles per hour. Let's see what the Subi can do.
This motor is just incredible, like instant torque. Watch this, watch as I come at the camera, watch the front end lift. <laughs> That's crazy, guys. This thing's awesome. I'm pulling a little bit to the left. Full speed, she's ripping. All right, let's see how fast we're going. Man, this thing performs nice. 40.2 kilometers per hour. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got the stupid thing on my head and I'm talking into the phone. Mark, that is 40.2 kilometers per hour, dude. We are, oh, hang on, is that miles or kilometers? Yeah, that's kilometers, yeah. 40.2 kilometers per hour. Mark, we are dead on par with our top speeds. I can't believe it. I, I'm not gonna lie, I thought the FK2, or sorry, the MK2 phaser, would have been faster. I'm surprised, we are tied. Guys, that's nuts. Okay, let's try something else here then. Unbelievable, 40.2. But I've got an idea. I'm gonna see, okay, so got this bad boy zeroed back out. I'm gonna try a different battery, not because I'm hell bent on beating Mark, Brian. <laughs> maybe, maybe that has something to do with it. But I wanna try a different battery because this battery is quite old and I have abused it quite a bit. So let's try something else. Now, that's gonna be replaced with this guy right here, the ZRC, that, this is a 5200 milliamp pack, still 2S, but it's a hard case. Not that that really matters, but it's 2S, which, which obviously does matter. This is a fresher battery, a much newer battery. So just for curiosity's sake, I'm wondering, if we're gonna go any faster with a fresh battery. Okay guys, that's a brand new battery. Let's see how this guy goes. We're zeroed out. Let's do one more pass. One more nice long pass. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. 42.4 kilometers per hour. Little bit of an improvement with the fresher battery pack. I thought we had a little more juice and we did. That is awesome. So guys, you saw it right there. 40 kilometers per hour on the slightly tired battery, 42.4 kilometers per hour on the fresher battery. So I'm gonna call that a draw. I'm gonna say that Mark's TTO2 is just as good, just as fast with a 540 15 turn Abysma motor as my FZ02 Kyosho Phaser is with a 14 turn 550 can. That is something pretty crazy. I really thought that I was gonna have at least 10 kilometers an hour on mark, but I guess I don't. So price-wise, we are right on par. Speed-wise, we are right on par. I'm gonna volley this right back over the net, right back to the UK into Mark's backyard, and we're gonna see where Mark wants to go with this. What's the next challenge gonna be, Mark? How are we gonna put these two up against each other next? Do you wanna talk about steering performance? Maybe we can set up some pylons and do like a road course. We're gonna have to do a little bit of off-road performance. It is a rally car after all. If you guys have any ideas of any tests that you wanna see us perform, throw them down in the comment section below. I'd really like to hear your comments. But for now, I think I'm gonna take this thing to the skate park. The clouds seem to be ripping right on over. We gotta take this opportunity to try and score some epic slow-mo shots with this bad boy. <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying this type of content. Thank you for everyone who has come to join the channel lately. You guys are the best. Let's go see what a Subaru rally can do in a skate park. All right, guys, well, listen, bad news. I'm on the way home. The skate park was full of kids skating. 
Uh, so yeah, how dare they, right? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm gonna go home, get this edited up, get it ready for you guys for tomorrow. Thanks again so much for watching. More coming at you real soon, guys. Stay tuned for that. Until then, be excellent to each other.